morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm glad to be back in New York for Solve. I've been to every one of the Solves almost, I think. Uh, certainly all the New York events. Uh, this is our third year, as Ian said, and we're so proud to be back. Um, I want to spend a few minutes with you this morning uh, talking to you about how things are changing in our industry, uh, maybe a little bit of what's going on in the cloud industry and, and what I'm hearing uh, every day from customers. One of the things that um, many of our customers are asking uh, is about expertise. Where do they find the experts? Who, in fact, are, are the experts that they're going to lean on? And when, when I think about experts, um, I think about it, you know, sort of in our daily lives. When I flew here from San Antonio, Texas, I was glad that there was an expert at the stick in that cockpit up there making sure that that plane was going in the right direction. You know, he's a certified, he or she, I should say, or they're a certified uh, expert in flying that airplane, and I'm so happy that they do that every day. When we think about operating rooms and surgeons, you know, when you, when you look for a surgeon, you don't look just for anyone, you look for the best one. You want an expert, you want somebody who's done it a million times and who knows how to do that surgery better than anybody else. And cars, I remember as, as a kid, you know, 16-year-old kid growing up, I worked on my own car. I was able to change the oil and do the brakes and change the spark plugs. But nowadays, cars are so complex that you really need to find an expert to do a lot of the work, can't do as much of it anymore. And that same thing is going on in cloud, that, that lack of expertise. This is a survey, the result of a survey that uh, is called the State of the Cloud. A company called RightScale has been doing this for a number of years. And lack of expertise, lack of resources and expertise is now cited as the number one challenge to cloud adoption in this survey. Uh, it's actually the first time in the history of the survey that uh, something other than security was at the top of that list. So now, lack of resources, lack of expertise, number one challenge to adoption of cloud. And that means that for many businesses today, they're asking this question, the one that I presented at the beginning, who are your experts? It's a very important question. Um, there are lots of tr trends going on in the industry that are driving this question to be asked in a lot of organizations. Some of it is the fact that the pace of innovation is going faster. Fast is becoming faster in our world. Uh, you hear that every day from customers and from your uh, colleagues and peers. Uh, competition is getting more competitive. It used to be that your competition was down the street. Now they're anywhere on the planet because of the uh, level playing field that the cloud and infrastructure and the internet provides. And that competitive advantage that you're going to gain uh, is going to be gained within, within the, the realm of understanding your customer, better customer insight. And you know the, the competition may be working hard on that, but that's your goal, that's your challenge, is to really gain that customer insight and understand how to become more competitive with that data. Complexity. Complexity is becoming even more complex. As we see uh, every day, there are new products, new services, new trends, new acronyms, a lot of new things going on in the industry that are making things more, ever more complex, and especially as we enter this sort of new realm of multi-cloud. Um, that trend, you'll, you'll hear it throughout the day, multi-cloud, and some of it's happening because uh, cloud infrastructure prices are going down. Uh, there's lots of competition within the cloud market. Lots of the, uh, the, the uh, uh, big companies are getting into cloud and they're driving down prices, and that means there are more options than ever in cloud computing, and that leads to um, multi-cloud because departments within organizations are starting to adopt cloud for many different reasons. We're seeing companies adopting Microsoft Azure and AWS and using OpenStack and even traditional dedicated servers to power their infrastructure. And they're doing that within the same company, sometimes within the same organization within that company. And that, uh, that, that state of the cloud report that I referenced a few minutes ago actually found that cloud users are leveraging an average of six clouds nowadays. Now, think of these guys plus you know, some of the things like software as a service, platform as a service, uh, other types of cloud services, and you can sort of get a grasp of how that may actually happen, how, how it may play out like that. Six average clouds, uh, six, uh, over six probably in many companies. So as a result of all of that, uh, lots of new entrants into the uh, space in terms of cloud tools and cloud applications and management suites. Um, you know, that's increasing daily. I hear about a new tool every day on the internet. I read a lot of the blogs that keep pace with this stuff, but it's difficult. Um, those apps and those tools can be complicated. 
uh, which increases complexity for the users of the cloud, the business users. They're asking for help, they're demanding help, and they're looking for it, but they're not typically finding it because the demand and the price for the skilled cloud engineers has gone through the roof in terms of, of demand. They're hard to find, they're hard to keep, uh, you know, they're, they're poached very quickly to a, a, a new startup down the street. Um, it's very difficult to, to find and keep those folks. And at the same time, uh, companies are really looking to concentrate their energy and, and make sure that they're uh, focusing on the things that really drive their business forward. Even if they could hire that next cloud engineer, they'd rather put their efforts on the next feature or the developers that could build those features in their organization. So to summarize all of these market forces that are going on, you know, this is really creating a new opportunity in the cloud, a new era of cloud computing, and we call that managed cloud. Um, what we're hearing from our customers with, with managed cloud is they want uh, to save money, they want to lower their costs, they want to have choice, they don't want to be uh, locked necessarily to one particular cloud, they want to have flexibility in, in terms of where they deploy and how they deploy. Uh, they certainly want security, um, security is paramount, and last but not least, reliability. They want to make sure that whatever they build and wherever they deploy it, it's going to be reliable for their customers. Um, and with that, they're asking for help. It's, it's increasingly hard for anybody to accomplish all of these things all by themselves. They really do need that help. So at Rackspace, we provide fanatical support for the world's leading clouds. Um, what that means is that we're applying our expertise at Rackspace to support stacks like OpenStack and AWS and Microsoft Azure and VMware. Fanatical support combines our expertise and our results-obsessed 24 by 7 customer service with these platforms. And in the last few months, in terms of, of what we've been working on, we've been very busy in terms of building a lot of these capabilities. For example, we partnered with Intel last year to create something that we call the OpenStack Innovation Center. It's based at our headquarters in San Antonio. And with uh, Intel, we've built two 1,000 node clusters to help OpenStack developers test their apps and to test their code at scale. Um, of course, you know, Rackspace, is, as the founder of OpenStack with NASA years ago, we run the loud, uh, largest public cloud uh, based on OpenStack in the world. And we're also deploying many, many private clouds, helping customers manage those private clouds. And this work with Intel is really just helping advance the state of the art within the OpenStack community. I mentioned AWS. Uh, just a few months ago, we launched this service called Fanatical Support for AWS, and we're already seeing a tremendous response. And I want to play a video for you uh, from one customer who's already up and running on Fanatical Support for AWS. We were talking internally in meetings, and we kind of threw out the phrase like, where is that rack space? support for AWS. This is something that we really need. We, we relied on this in the dedicated hardware. We need this in AWS too. About a month or so later, uh, our account manager came to us and told us, hey, we're, we're starting up this new program. We're going to be doing, providing fanatical support for AWS. Is that something you'd be interested in being in the beta program on? And we said, absolutely, where do we sign? For us, Rackspace really solved the issue of being able to get that AWS expertise within the company without having to hire um, a full staff of AWS architects. So just one example of many customers who are taking us up on these new capabilities around the uh, Amazon Web Services platform. But this fanatical support's not limited to AWS. We're also extending that into the Microsoft Cloud. Uh, I mentioned Azure. Uh, last year, we announced uh, fanatical support for Microsoft Azure, which is furthering our long, longstanding partnership and relationship with Microsoft. Um, we go way back with Microsoft. In fact, we've won their Hosting Partner of the Year award five times over the, uh, the 15 years I've been with Rackspace. So it's a great partnership. It's a deep partnership. And now it extends to the Microsoft Cloud Platform as well. And VMware, last but not least on that uh, slide, uh, VMware is another long-running partner uh, with Rackspace. And we um, uh, have a great relationship that goes way back with, with VMware. We deploy customers at scale with the VMware tools and technologies. And so no matter what platform you choose to run on, at Rackspace we have you covered with fanatical support. And working with these partners, working with uh, the, the folks that we've just mentioned, has really led us to a new category uh, that, again, we call managed cloud. It's not exactly the same as 
infrastructure as a service, as you see on this slide. This is the magic quadrant that represents the players in the infrastructure as a service um, uh, magic quadrant from Gartner. The new category uh, looks a little bit like this, and this is um, reflected in what Gartner calls the cloud-enabled managed hosting magic quadrant. We're a leader, we're proud to be a leader in that space. This is for the second time in a row as they put out a quadrant, we're now in this leadership uh, position. Uh, it really reflects on our ability to execute in the, in the uh, uh, dimensions of this, and then the, also the, the vision behind what we're doing at Rackspace. That's what's reflected in the quadrant here. And when you combine these two, when you put together the world's leading clouds with the world's best expertise, uh, really you, you get something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, cloud infrastructure plus the expertise to make those clouds more valuable is really what Rackspace is in the business of doing. So how do we put all that together and what, what allows us to um, you know, bring that to market? Well, it's maybe reflected in these categories. We call these workload categories, but this is expertise that we've um, really specialize in. I mentioned earlier that that's an important part of, of being an expert is specializing. We specialize in digital, and this includes things like e-commerce and content marketing and management platforms, uh, data, um, things like uh, uh, relational databases, NoSQL databases, big data platforms, analytics, uh, cloud applications. Uh, we think about that like mobile applications, software as a service platforms, things of that sort. Uh, cloud office is another area of specialization. Email and collaboration fall into this category. Things like SharePoint and Office 365 and Rackspace email and, and other applications. IT transformation, that's a word that you'll hear a lot from uh, CIOs who are trying to modernize their, their IT department. They're looking for ways to uh, be more agile in their infrastructure and oftentimes looking to a private cloud. So Rackspace offers uh, OpenStack, Microsoft, VMware, private cloud technologies under that IT transformation banner. And security, um, with our uh, new managed security service that I'll talk more about, Rackspace is leading in the area of managed security. Um, when you put those workload expertise categories together with those infrastructure platforms, and you back that up with fanatical support, I think you have a winning combination. You have the choice of technology stacks, all backed by Rackspace and by fanatical support. And that means that you get the best fit for your technology and for your service. And under it all is that focus on security. Last year, we also launched our customer uh, security operations center uh, as part of our Rackspace managed security services. This is a, a photo of our, what we call the CSOC. So when you come to the Rackspace headquarters and you get a tour, they'll take you by the operations center where you can see where the security uh, folks work and how they're dealing with a lot of the threats and challenges that our customers are facing. So who are your experts? That's the question of the day. You'll hear today uh, from many of our customers how they're answering that question. Um, most of them are answering the question in two parts. They're leaning on their in-house experts to focus on what differentiates their business. And they're uh, leaning on Rackspace experts and our partners to manage the cloud and all the related technologies around it. Uh, we'll start off the day um, with a, a few minutes and in a few minutes with an announcement and a presentation from Red Hat. We'll hear how TD Bank has turned to Rackspace as they transform their business uh, with all the security con uh, considerations that a ma major bank uh, has in their organization. Intel is here to talk about what we're doing together on OpenStack. Uh, O'Reilly Media, who you probably recognize as an internationally recognized media company. Uh, they publish all the books and all the technology stacks that are relevant. Uh, they're known for those cutting edge books um, and their conferences, but when they needed to change the way that they presented online learning, they turned to Rackspace and our Karina container service for help with that. Microsoft will be here to talk about fanatical support for Office 365 and will be joined by one of our customers, our common customers, Legendary Pictures, who has migrated to our fanatical support uh, for Office 365. And we'll hear more about fanatical support for AWS uh, both from one of our own experts at Rackspace and from the folks at AWS. They're here today. Um, we'll also learn from one of the world's largest amusement park corporations, Six Flags. Uh, everybody knows Six Flags. And they'll, we'll hear about how they're handling traffic spikes on their web sites with the help of Rackspace managed dedicated server hosting. Uh, two cloud leaders in security will join us for a panel in the afternoon. Alert Logic will be here and also Cloud Passage, and they'll answer the question, 
can the cloud actually be more secure than the enterprise data center? And finally, Michelle Bailey, we'll hear from Michelle from 451 Research uh, near the end of the day to discuss the latest trends in cloud. Michelle has been with us on many of the Solve conferences and we're always happy to have her. She delivers really, really inf insightful research, so you'll wanna make sure you stick around for that. And overall, I think it's gonna be a fun and very informative day today. I think um, I want you to remember that question, who are your experts? And I want you to take advantage of the fact that today around you uh, are our experts. And I hope you have a great day at Solve New York City. Thank you.